Okay, so I made a song only using Gorilla Tag sound effects, and here's how I did it. To make a kick, I hit the floor inside of the spawn tree, pitched it down 12 semitones, added some multiband compression to it, and a little bit of EQ, and this is how it sounded. And then for a snare drum sound, we just went over near the scoreboard, and we hit the legs underneath the pedestal. And that's actually the same sound that you could find over in the shop area, but the shop currently has some rain sound effects in the background, so I didn't really want to take the sample from there. And we actually used the same sound for a hi-hat too, but this time we cut it up, dragged it into Ableton Simpler, EQ'd it a bit, and pitched it up. I also took the sound that triggers when you join a new room, and I reversed that to make a reverse crash cymbal sort of sound. And then for the rest of our song, we used the crystals in the caves, and did some funny tricks with them to make some more instruments. I pitch shifted them up and down, I ran the crystals through Ableton Simpler, and EQ'd them a little bit to create a sort of crystal piano. I also used Simpler with some slightly different settings and a different EQ color to create a sort of arpeggio instrument with the crystals. Some different Simpler settings and a different EQ color, plus a little bit of delay, is how we created a lead synth sort of sound. And finally for our bass, we used Simpler again, but this time we pitch shifted it really low and we used EQ, multiband compression, and this plugin called the Sausage Fattener, and that's how we managed to get our bass into a pretty decent spot. So that's pretty much it for the breakdown side of things. Now I'm actually going to show you guys the full song. But first, if you guys thought this was cool, or if you learned anything from it, it would mean a lot if you subscribed to the channel. And if you enjoyed the song at the end, give the video a like too. Alright, enough talking. I call this song, Monkey Madness.